Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be moving on the third module of high voltage engineering. The title of the module is high voltage measurement. In this module, we'll be mainly dealing with the different type of high voltage measurement techniques. In the first module, let us have an introduction. In module one, we have discussed about different types of breakdown phenomenon of dielectric material. Breakdown phenomenon. In the second module, uh, we have learned how to generate high voltage AC, then high voltage DC and impulse waveforms. In module 3, we will be discussing about how to measure high voltage AC measurement, then DC measurement, then measurement of impulse waveform, such as measurement of impulse voltage and impulse current. etc. First and foremost thing, why measurements are required? What are the requirements of measurement? Why measurement? Why measurement is required? Why do you require a uh, high voltage measurement? What is the requirement of high voltage measurement? Let us find out the reason. The first reason is, if the measurement is regarding, the main consideration of measurement is, for the safety to the personnel and the equipment. That means, that is very important. For the safety of, safety of personnel and equipments. Because safety is most important. So, you need to know how much amount of high voltage you are going to apply. How much amount of high voltage you are going to generate. So, safety of the personnel and equipment is the main consideration. Then, second one is, you have to consider EMI issue, electromagnetic interference, EMI. EMI has to be minimized. Okay, that means EMI value should be as minimum as possible. So, you, you have to consider, you have to take care about EMI issues. Similarly, you have to check the magnitude. You have to check the magnitude of high voltage AC or high voltage DC. Magnitude has to be checked. You need to know how much amount of voltage. You have to measure the magnitude. That's important. Then, you have to calibration regarding the calibration extension of range calibration is important so because of uh, few things we need to do we need to go for the measurement one more thing determine the location and layout of the equipment to determine location and layout of equipment to determine the location and the layout of equipment. Because of this, we require high voltage measurement. Because of safety, uh, then because of EMI issues, uh, then regarding the magnitude, we need to know how much amount of current or voltage you are going to generate. Then extension range, that means calibration. Uh, then you need to decide the location and layout of the equipment. Because of these parameters, we require measurement. Okay. Now let us consider voltage. So we, we, we will have different type of voltage such as DC voltage, then AC voltage with the power frequency, AC high frequency voltage, then impulse voltage and other fast changing voltage. These are the different type of voltages. Now let us list out the different type of techniques or devices which you can go for voltage measurement. First let us consider DC voltage. You have to consider DC voltage. DC voltage. What are the different devices which will be supporting for the measurement of DC voltage? The first one is Series resistance micrometer. Series resistance micrometer. And the second one is resistance potential divider. Resistance potential divider. And the third one is Generating voltmeter.
and finally spear and spark gaps spear gaps and spear gap and other type of spark gap like a road gap or point to point many combinations are available i'll be explaining later on so first you list out uh, the different type of equipments or different type of technique for the measurement of dc voltage we have series resistance micrometer uh, then resistance potential divider then generating voltmeter and spear gap or you can go for spark gap let us list out different equipments for the measurement of high voltage with the power frequency high voltage ac with the power frequency that i'll be writing ac voltage ac voltage with the power frequency like a 50 hertz power frequency ac voltage with the power frequency let us list out the equipments potential divider first device is potential divider potential divider it is mainly operating based on the voltage division formula mainly there are two types of potential divider which can be used for measurement of ac voltage especially resistive type resistive type and the second category of potential divider that means capacitive type capacitive type those two types of potential divider can be suitable for measurement of high voltage ac for power frequency the second important device is electrostatic voltmeter electrostatic voltmeter and the third one is spear gap you can use spear gap in that spear gap there are two arrangement either you can go for vertical arrangement or you can go for horizontal arrangement these are the few devices or few techniques which can be used for measurement of uh, high voltage ac the frequency range is actually the power frequency especially 50 hertz okay let me list out ac high frequency voltage then impulse voltage and other rapidly changing voltage and what are the different devices which can be measured for these type of voltages especially ac high frequency voltage impulse voltage and other rapidly changing voltage ac high frequency voltage ac high frequency voltage then impulse voltage and other rapidly changing voltage Let us list out the equipments or methods or devices. The first one is potential divider with the CRO. Cathode ray oscilloscope. Potential divider with the CRO. So especially mixed RC type. Mixed RC type. Potential divider can be used for this purpose. Moreover, you can go for resistive type and capacitive type also. No issues. So, resistive type. You can go for resistive type. And even you can go for capacitive type. Now, you can use peak voltmeter. So, normally... Uh, Chubb and Fortescue type peak voltmeters are popular. Chubb and Fortescue type that I will be explaining whenever the topic comes like a peak voltmeter, explain peak voltmeter. One of the popular type of peak voltmeter is Chubb and Fortescue type method that I will be explaining. Then spear gaps. You can go for spear gap also. Spear gap. So these are the popular devices which you can go for measurement of high voltage, AC with a high frequency, then impulse voltage and other rapidly changing voltage. So let us list out the different devices which can be used for measurement of current. There are different types of current such as DC current, direct current, then alternating current, then high frequency AC current or impulse current or rapidly changing current. There are different varieties of currents are available. Now let us discuss how to measure direct current by using the following methods. What are the different methods or what are the different techniques which can be used for measurement of direct current. So first and foremost I will be writing direct current. Direct current. 
or you can call DC direct current. So you can use magnetic links. Magnetic links. Then Hall effect generator. Hall effect generator. It works based on the principle of Hall effect. Then resistive shunt with the milliammeter. Resistive shunt with the milliammeter. By using by using the following devices, you can measure direct current. Now, how to measure alternating current with the power frequency? I'll be writing alternating current with the power frequency. So you can go for resistive resistive type shunt, resistive shunt, resistive shunt. Then one more device, electromagnetic current transformer. Electromagnetic current transformer. That means CT. Electromagnetic current transformer. And it's like a resistive shunt and electromagnetic current transformers are mainly used for measurement of this alternating current with the power frequency range. Now I will be discussing other type of current that is high frequency AC then impulse and rapidly changing current. High frequency alternating current then impulse current. And rapidly changing current. Now let us list out the methods or devices or techniques. First one is Rogowski coil. You can go for Rogowski coil. It works based on the principle of mutual induction. Then you can use Hall effect generator. Then resistive shunt. Then you can go for this. You can go for magnetic links also. It works based on the principle of remnant magnetism that I'll be explaining later. So these are the different devices. These are the different devices uh, which can be used for measurement of high frequency AC, then impulse current and rapidly changing current. I hope you got an overall idea about different type of measurement devices. In the next session, I will be discussing individually. So thank you for watching this video. Please share and don't forget to subscribe.